Global War 36 enthusiast here with Operation No Time to Die, turn 6.4, the Commonwealth. It is January 1939. Before we get started, I just wanted to point out a beautiful uh, custom painting by my friend Mike Macy. Um, there's an artillery piece that he, he's done for me, and he's done this uh, British, I think that's called Dazzle, a Dazzle camo that they used. Um, really sweet. Uh, contact me if you want to know how to get in touch with Mike. <clears throat> so I have two tech roles, radar and wartime economy, but I'm going to defer them until the end of the British turn when I do my recruitment role for the Dutch. Then I'll have PBE generate the numbers. So let's talk about British purchases. I think I need to zoom out a little bit here and get those on screen. Okay, for Great Britain, I'm going to buy three infantry for nine and one fighter for 10, so that's 19. Uh, that's all I had. For the FEC, I have nine IPPs. I'm going to get an artillery for four and two militia for four and save one. Anzac also has nine. They're going to spend three for an infantry and save six. All right, combat movement, none. Non-combat movement. Let's zoom out the camera a little bit here. Come over here. Um, well, i got to go out a little bit more to get that Dutch submarine in there. Okay, so I want to compliment uh, my opponent, Bruce. He's done a really nice job with uh, spreading out his aircraft um, to cover his convoy lines. Basically, um, anywhere I try to convoy raid him, he can map me the next turn. So this Dutch sub is just going to retreat down here to see zone 98 um, and uh, realizes the path of peace. The one coastal submarine that's down in 142, Yep, I think that's on screen here. It'll move right over here to Sea Zone 144 uh, and hang out there. Um, next, I will have my coastal defense ship that was in Sea Zone uh, 80, I think it was 83. Um, it will move over one space and join the Armada in Sea Zone 82. But that armada, the band is breaking up. There's, there's going to be some movement. Um, and I'm going to have a portion of those ships. Let's see if I can get them on camera. Okay, these guys here. Um, it's going to be two light carriers, one with a fighter, one with a tactical bomber. Uh, one heavy cruiser, two British light cruisers, three British destroyers, one Anzac destroyer, and two submarines are going to move from Sea Zone 82, 1, 2, 3, over to Sea Zone 79. I think I don't have any uh, slow movers in there, so that, that should be a legal move. Uh, I am going to have one naval transport here in Sea Zone 79. We'll pick up two infantry from Gibraltar and go 1, 2, 3, over here to Sea Zone 82, and drop off the two infantry in Eastern Egypt. Um, then I'm going to have one naval transport from the British Midlands pick up two infantry and carry them down to Gibraltar, uh, ending up in Sea Zone 79 with this naval transport and these two British infantry from British Midlands. Okay. I'm going to have two naval transports that were here in Sea Zone 79 move back up to Sea Zone 24. So I'll have two naval transports in Sea Zone 24, one naval transport in Sea Zone 79, and two, right now I've got one British naval transport and one Anzac naval transport in Sea Zone 82. And I, and I haven't moved the Anzac naval transport yet. <clears throat> then I'm going to move one light carrier with a tactical bomber, one heavy cruiser, uh, one light cruiser, and two destroyers down here to Sea Zone 79. 
That will leave up there in 24 one British battleship, one uh, heavy cruiser, one destroyer, a neutral uh, con uh, coastal defense ship, neutral destroyer, and neutral torpedo boat destroyer, a French battleship, two French destroyers, and two British naval transports. That's what was in 24. Okay, three infantry are going to move from London into British Midlands. So now I'll have four militia, anti-aircraft gun, and a strategic bomber in London, and I'll have four infantry in British Midlands. Strategic rail movement, none. Strategic naval movement, one Anzac transport, the guy that didn't move. This guy is gonna pick up two infantry from Eastern Egypt uh, and do strategic naval movement, one, two, three, and drop them off in Maharashtra. So that's what happens for my strategic naval movement. Then uh, controlled minor recruitment role. I've got the Netherlands at three. One point for the Netherlands, one point for Dutch Lesser Antilles, and one point for Suriname. Let's go to PBE and generate my two tech roles uh, for radar and wartime economy and my Dutch recruitment role. Okay, so I failed for both tech roles, and uh, so I, I wish I'd rolled <laughs> reverse. So I roll a two for my uh, radar, which is what I wanted for my uh, recruitment, of course. And I rolled a 6 for wartime economy, and then I rolled an 11 for my recruitment roll. So abysmal uh, failure on my rolls this turn. Uh, then placement. So British, the Brit Great Britain will place uh, two infantry and a fighter in London. And then that other infantry will get placed down in uh, South African Union. And then as far as the FEC, uh, you can't see South African Union. Uh, it's, it happens to be right where my camera mount is to the table. So all there is is a minor factory, a militia, and an infantry. Okay, then FEC is going to place one artillery in Calcutta. So I've got one Anzac artillery and now I've got one British artillery. And then I have two militia still to place. One militia will go into Hong Kong and the other militia will go into British Malaya. And that will mean that both of them will have two infantry and four militia. Um, and then Anzac just had one infantry to place and we'll place that in Sydney. So Sydney has six militia and four infantry and a minor factory. All right, now let's collect income. Great Britain collects 18 and that's all she has, all they have. Um, FEC collects nine and they had saved one, so they have a total of 10 in the bank. And then ANZAC collects seven and they had six saved, so they have a total of 13 uh, banked. And that is the end of 6.4. Okay. So now we progress to uh, France's turn. Let's see. Sorry about this. Getting my getting my income set up. Okay, so I am going to do one tech roll. It'll be for long range aircraft. Again, I'm going to defer on that roll because um, we're going to do that when we do our recruitment roll for Abyssinia. French purchases. I'm going to make two lend leases. I have 11 IPP. Let's zoom in a bit here. I have 11 IPP. I'm going to, this is representative 
of an Abyssinian uh, air transport. I know it's not the proper sculpt and it's not the proper color, but uh, I'm not going to paint. I know, I, I imagine uh, Dan will paint an Abyssinian air transport that he's never going to use again. But uh, the, the French are going to lend lease air transport for eight. And then to the KMT, the French are going to lend lease an airborne infantry for three. So that'll spend all 11. Uh, combat movement, none. Non-combat movement. Let's zoom the camera out a bit. And come down here to... We want to be able to see Abyssinia. Um, let's see if that does it. There we go. Okay, so um, I am going to move these three infantry and the cavalry back to Abyssinia. Um, then I'm going to move the two naval transports that are in C Zone 49 are going to move over here to C Zone 79. And then the three French ships up here, which is a battleship and two French destroyers, will move down to 79. So in 79, I will have two uh, French battleships, two French destroyers, and two French transports. That is the end of my uh, non-combat movement. So uh, let's see. I know that I'm missing a page here. Oh, here we go. Okay, so recruitment. I have Abyssin my Abyssinian recruitment at two. So again, we'll go to PBE. This time we just have two numbers to generate, one for the long, time, long range aircraft role and the other one for the Abyssinian recruitment role. Will it be a complete blank out? Uh, yes, it is a complete uh, blank. I get blanked on everything. I uh, rolled a one for long range aircraft and I rolled a five for my recruitment. Um, France collects, oh, I need to do my, declare my lend lease. So the lend leased air transport leaves southern France and arrives at French Somaliland uh, and then is transported by rail to Abyssinia. The uh, airborne infantry leaves southern France uh, and travels to Burma. Uh, then it goes via the Burma Road. Um, to, uh, I've got a question about this. Oh, does it go by, does it, maybe I can't, maybe this is not a legal move. This is interesting. I, I'd be interested in what players say because the, because I look at other rails, for example, the French Somaliland rail goes into the, right into the port. But in this particular case in Burma, the the river goes uh, maybe to the port maybe not uh, but the and then the river travels up here but it does not go to Yunnan and I don't know that the rail really does so could I get something um, from Burma into Yunnan that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to get this airborne to Yunnan but I want to make sure I'm doing a legal move uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, hmm, that's very interesting. Um, hmm. I want to, I want to declare what I, what I would do differently if I, if that's not a legal move. Uh, I would, I would rather buy a tactical, um, hmm. boy, this is tough. Sorry to do this on the fly. Hmm, that's very strange because I can go into that port, but I always thought the Burma Road could get from Burma to... Hold, hold on, sorry to waste your guys' time. Hold on just a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look this up about the Burma Road real quick. I'm sure it's going to be in China KMT. Burma Road... It can be used as if a railroad. Okay, but it kind of doesn't, still doesn't solve my problem. I think it's legal to, to send it. Uh, if it's not, then maybe what I'll do is uh, buy a fighter for Abyssinia 
and save one. Uh, it's not optimal because then Germany will capture that one IPP, but uh, if I could send that unit to uh, to Yunnan, that's what I want to do. But I don't know. I don't know if I can. Oh, I know what I do. God, I'm making this. No, I can't get it through Hong Kong because that doesn't touch. Nope. I'm I'm so sorry, everyone, for watching. I don't know how to handle this. Um, I think I'm going to have to talk to my opponents about uh, our situation. I think what I'm going to do is collect 11 with France. Hopefully it turns out that it's a legal move um, and we'll, we'll debate it out. But this is Global War 36 Enthusiast now turning this over to Panzer J and 6.6 .6 Italy.